Kia ora Year 12 and Year 13. This is the first video I'm doing on this year's Level 3 Calculus papers and it's the question from the differentiation paper about the cylinder inside the sphere. Okay, so let's um, first just read through the question. Um, we're given a cylinder of height h in radius r inscribed, as shown to the right, inside a sphere of radius 20 centimetres. So looking at that, if we think about this point here as being the centre of the sphere, the radius of the sphere is 20 centimetres. That's not the same as the radius of my cylinder. Okay, and our job is to find the maximum possible volume of the cylinder. So the first thing to remember is that the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. This is what we need to maximise. So what are the steps we're going to have to take? Well, we need to differentiate volume to find a maximum, but at the moment we have a function of two variables. So as usual, we have to reduce that to a function of one variable. And we have to find a way to do that. Next, um, we're going to differentiate with respect to whatever that variable is. We're going to set, it, set that derivative to zero to find a maximum. And then we're going to solve for whatever my variable is. And then we're going to find the other one. And lastly, we're going to get our volume. So the only hard part of this question is this first bit of how we can reduce the problem down to one variable. To do that, we have to find a link between r and h. And as usual, that comes from Pythagoras. So on the next slide, I've got that diagram of the cylinder made a little bit bigger. So if you think about the centre of your sphere as being here, we know that the cylinder is going to touch on the edge here, so we can draw in a right angle triangle like this. Now the way that I thought about it, you can define this in different ways, but the height of the whole cylinder here is h. So this bit here is h on 2, and the radius of the cylinder is r. And we know that this distance here must be 20. So that gives me a right angle triangle that looks like this. I've got r here, I've got 20 here, and I've got h on 2 here. So that gives me my link between r and h. We can say that r squared plus h on 2 squared is equal to 20 squared. Right, now look at what we need for our formula, because we can reduce our workload a little bit here. We've got v equals pi r squared h. So I'm going to choose to rearrange this to get r squared, and then I can substitute r squared. That way I can avoid any square root signs. So r squared is equal to 400 minus h squared on 4. Substituting that into my volume expression gives me v equals pi times this times h. And now we've got a pretty simple expression to differentiate. So dv by dh will be 400 pi minus 3 quarters of h squared. And that has to equal 0 for a maximum. So let's rearrange and solve that for h. So 3 quarters of pi h squared is equal to 400 pi. We can divide both sides through by pi. That gives me h squared is equal to 1600 divided by 3. Okay, so we've found my height. We'll take the square root of that. So h is equal to 40 on root 3. Now we know that we need the positive value there, so we can ignore the negative root. I mean the negative square root. Right, what's left? Well, from above we had our expression that linked r squared and h squared. So we're going to substitute my value of h squared in here. So r squared is equal to 400 minus h squared on 4, which is 400 take away 1600 divided by 3 times 1 quarter which gives me 400 minus 400 over 3. 
doing this very slowly. I know most of you probably will have grabbed your calculators at this point. What does that give me? 800. So r squared is equal to 800 divided by 3. So we've finished, right? And we didn't have to actually work out r squared explicitly. We were asked for the maximum possible volume of the cylinder. So v is equal to pi r squared h. So v is equal to pi times 800 over 3 times 40 over root 3, giving us, let's see, um, 32,000 over 3 root 3 pi, and my unit is going to be centimetres cubed. Now, I haven't gone ahead and um, done that as an exact value, but you should. I just um, didn't have a calculator nearby, and I'm not going to attempt to do that in my head. So that's um, that question done. We don't need to prove that the volume we've found is a maximum. I just want to talk about one of the places I think that you can go wrong in this problem. And it's what you think of as the radius. Okay, so looking back at the question, the sphere has a fixed radius, right? The sphere's radius is 20 centimetres. So when we've gone through and worked all the way through to find H, we have to remember that when H is this height here, the radius of the cylinder is this length here. It's not 20 centimetres, right? Because the radius of the sphere is the bit that is fixed at 20 centimetres. So no matter where I draw that cylinder, we know that it's going to touch the edge of the sphere. Okay, so that's probably um, one place that I think this could go wrong near the end. But the hardest work in this question, as usual, is in the setting up this relationship here with Pythagoras. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably do a couple more of these over the break. If you've got any requests on what you want done next, just leave me a comment or send me an email.